bonjour lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here guys please hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit like on this video drop your comment and turn your post notification bell on so you don't miss a video when i post as you can see we are home hunting again do we have money no but I'll be sharing some tips and tricks that I've learned as well as the options that we have viewed so far. As usual, your input is always welcome. So this is the first unit we looked at going for roughly $450,000 and the ones that we looked at are all detached because you know we love our privacy. So I won't be highlighting the obvious for the houses. What I'll do instead is just tell you what I liked or what I did not like about the house as well as as I said share the tips and tricks that the realtor shared with us. This was one of the options that we really liked. It's a newer house. However, as you can see here, the living room is very small and we want that area to be a bit bigger for something that we'll choose but it isn't bad and i actually do like the darker color and i like the little counter area even though it's small but i like the vibe it is giving and this one came with a fruit tree so <laughs> not bad you can tell that the previous owner actually took really good care of this place we looked at a few other options that were not shown in this video those that were like over 20 years because those spaces are bigger and to be honest have to put them on way out there. so we decided to look at those ones however they have lots of issues such as they start to sink like the houses are sinking and we want to make sure that we get our money's worth from whatever it is that we decide on so we were like okay let's look at newer homes that is why we ended up looking at these ones and as you'll later on see in the video we looked at new very new ones that we would be the first owners for that however can be tricky based on what the realtor advised so he said that with the newer homes like the ones that are very new unfinished meaning they're still under construction those ones don't come depending on who the contractor is they may or may not come with appliances so we'll have to purchase our own appliances our own fridge stove you name it the next thing with those ones they don't come with a garage only the spot for it so we would have to find money to put that in place also the basement is usually unfinished so that means we have to pay additional money to get the basement finished and the newer homes as you can imagine are way more expensive than pre-owned ones but on a positive note depending on the home that you choose if you choose to build it from scratch you can pay ten thousand dollars up front and the rest of the cost of the home when the house is finished so this will give you time to save more money and you will at the end of the day be the first owner of your home i ain't gonna lie this man really taught me a lot i really hope that we get to purchase a home with his help because he's been very patient whenever i see something that we like i send it to him and he's ready when can you view you know like he's very hands-on so i really like that but somehow guys let me know if i'm the only one but in my head i just feel like realtors are scammers i don't know why <laughs> sorry but i really do feel like they just want you to purchase stuff like i don't get that vibe from him but there's just somewhere in my mind that these people are not real you know what i'm saying but we let go and we trust my thing is just to get something that suits us like something that we're very happy with because this will be like one of our most expensive purchases in life so we have to make sure that the decision is well made but guys why are houses so expensive like we were planning to kind of wait until you know just keep searching while we save more money but that can be a trap because guess what house prices are going up and by the time we get that money we will forever be in a position that we won't be able to afford it but my thing is whenever we are making huge purchases we prefer to make sure that at least one person can handle it on their own 
for me personally it doesn't really matter the cost of the house except that it will affect the mortgage if that weren't the case then i wouldn't care for the cost of the house but you know the more the house costs the more your mortgage will be so that is why we're looking for something that one person's income should be able to take care of everything the mortgage to take care of the bills to take care of food like every single thing somebody once said that that's kind of not realistic in canada because people can hardly buy a home as a single person but we want to make sure that whatever it is that we do we don't have family here so we have to make sure that we can handle it individually so that's where we are kind of putting our budget where purchasing a home is concerned we're also thinking of getting something that will give us the opportunity to later rent for example we want you know all the houses or i'm assuming all i think come with a basement we want the basement to be self-contained, meaning it has kitchen, bathroom, living area, all those stuff. So that if, if necessary or if we decide to rent the basement, we can have people having everything for their comfort as opposed to mixing with us on the top. Let me know if you agree or disagree with what I've said so far. What are some of the things that you look for? Let's check out the second house that we viewed. All these houses that you see here are all sold except two. The ones that we are going to check out and the first one will become available in a few months while the other one won't become available until next year. Can you imagine that? These people are not playing and the cost is the same roughly four hundred and fifty thousand dollars but the thing is these ones are newer and like i said no garage just in case you were wondering why the price is the same i really love the layout of the inside of these ones you know inside is very beautiful and like i said we will be the first ones to own these homes if we decide to take them but the thing is we will not get a garage and guys we really need a garage because to park on the roadside is not funny when it is winter time so that is one of the things that i really want a house that comes with also i personally would love something that's flat or wheelchair accessible for when my mom decides to visit us she'll be able to go in and out with ease but yeah one thing i forgot to share is that all three units are three bedroom kitchen dining living and at least two and a half bathrooms and i believe this and the next have a little office area and of course some of these are parts of the basement but let me know what you think so far are you liking these houses which house do you prefer like in general not necessarily as seen in the video but like in general and why what are some of the things that you look out for when you are purchasing a home or what will be some of the things that you will be looking out for when it's time for you to purchase a home or when you were purchasing your home what were some of the things that you looked for if you already own a home what are some of the lessons that you have learned or what are some of the things that you would have done differently so that people who are looking to purchase a home can use these as a guide and not make the same mistakes? Not gonna lie though, but a white interior is not necessarily my favorite thing. It gives old, but I'm such a sucker for islands. Like I love a house that has an island in it. I don't know why, I don't know what, but it just gives off this little vibe that I like, especially when the faucet is black. Oh my gosh. And the lighting. Yeah. So, but those are things that can be changed, you know, over time. But yeah, lots more criteria and preferences, but I will not disclose those in this video because this video is just basically to give you an idea of the cost of housing to date. It's not necessarily what we will choose or what we definitely want or what our budget is or what we will be spending on a house. It's just to give you an idea. You know what I'm saying? Okay. On a serious note though, remember that your mortgage is not the only bill that is house related when you purchase a home. You have to pay other fees like insurance, property tax. You have to also consider shoveling snow. You have to consider lots of stuff. Unlike apartments where water is covered in your rent, you have to pay water bill, you have to pay for heat, like it comes with a lot. 
so it's a big big responsibility to purchase and maintain anyway since the last house is pretty much the same except that it's in its raw state which means it's not finished it's just bored like nothing is done on it i'll just leave you to watch the rest of the video and let me know in the comments which house you would take like i said what are some things that you look out for a detached house a semi-detached house a garage things like that just let me know what you would advise or what you like thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end y'all are real mvps i appreciate you all don't forget though to hit like and i'm begging for your comments and please guys if you're new just hit the subscribe button Turn your post notification bell on so you do not miss a video when I post. Until my next upload, bye.